my channel. I know that it's been a while. I've been gone for a little bit. I've been trying to focus on Instagram and creating like shorter videos and stuff like that. So today I'll be doing reviews on a few products that I've recently purchased. I have the Norvina palette, which is the volume three. Um, I also bought the new Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation, um, the Luminous foundation. Um, I also just picked up the new Juvia's Place stick foundation. I'm only going to use this to contour just because I didn't get my actual shade and I've heard mixed reviews on it. If you have oilier skin, I was hearing don't get it, it's too greasy and this and that. So. And those are really the three new products that I'll be doing a review on. Um, so we'll chit chat after I do my makeup tutorial. Okay, so I'm just applying the Luminous Foundation. Again, the shade is 370 um, C, I believe. And I'm using the 109 brush by MAC. As you can see, it does look a little bit darker in the video, but I did that because I used lighter concealers and it was very hard to try to find my shade. Um, so I'm just using that all over. And as you can see, it does give medium to full coverage. Next, I'm using the Juvia's Place Concealer. I believe this is shade 10 or 12, and I'm mixing it with the um, Shape Tape by Tarte. And then I'm using Zambia, which is a Juvia's Place contour stick, or foundation stick, I should say. And then we're just going to blend that out. I am using a MAC brush. I think it's the 130. And then I'm just blending out that contour shade. Next, I'm using the AC Cosmetics Translucent Powder, and I'm just setting that um, wherever I highlight it. And then, of course, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Coco Naughty to go ahead and bronze my skin. Next, I'm using the P. Louise. I believe this is Rumor 2 eyeshadow base. And then now I'm using C2 um, from the volume palette. And I basically put that all over my eyes, lid and crease. And then I'm just using that um, shimmer shade to put that on my lid. And I'm using the same crease color to put that at the bottom of my lower lash line. Next I'm using the Kylie highlighter. This is self-explanatory. And the Morphe to set my my review on um, the Anastasia and Norvina palette is it's a very pigmented palette I mean you have a lot of 
shades to choose from from the volume three um the only thing that i wish the palette had more of is more shimmers she has you know the if you're looking for a lot of mattes this is definitely the palette for you um if you don't have a lot of bright tones in a matte shade or formula then it, that's where her palette is basically based off of um there's only probably about four or five six seven, about seven shimmers and some of them aren't too shiny um the one that i used today that one is a beautiful shade um the three golden ones here i don't know if you could see them um they kind of look similar they kind of look similar where you know i wish she would have mixed it up a little bit more and i just make everything in the gold family um but overall i think it's a beautiful package um it is a little bit heavy but i love the full size mirror inside the packaging or the palette um, there's some beautiful shades. There's definitely a lot of shades to create a nice fall look or even like a bright colorful look if that's what you're going for. You know, what I did today is somewhat bright and you know, you, it's not really every day because I do that um, neon tone in my crease. But um, overall, I would say, is it worth? I think it retails for about 58 or 60 dollars i didn't pay that price but um is it worth it yeah you know it's kind of on the expensive side but you do get a lot of shades um to me it's more than what you would get in the natasha denona palette all right 25 shades you get and the next thing that i'm going to review is the anastasia luminous foundation Overall, I do like the foundation. It gives a good coverage. Um, it is buildable, so it's like a medium to full coverage foundation. Um, if you're extremely oily, then I would probably suggest using like the Milk Makeup um, Primer to help control the oiliness or maybe not use it at all if you're that extremely oily. Um, it do give like a nice finish to your skin. It's not like a thick foundation, so it is wearable. Um, and to me, it gives decent coverage. It gives, you know, full coverage. The only thing that was kind of like a con with this is the shade ranges. Even the shade that I used today was a slightly a little darker than I would usually get. Um, but I had a little bit of issues trying to find my exact tone. And I'm not buying two foundations, so, you know use a lighter concealer and just make it do what it do basically um but overall i would definitely recommend the foundation is just tricky with finding your shade because even this one is 470 c and c is supposed to be for cool but the c's aren't really that cool they're not that red so to me it's somewhat golden too just not as yellow um so you know with that go into sephora or ulta wherever swatch it and see what shade range you would be in versus buying it online because it's very difficult to really find your shade um and, oh the juvia's place um stick foundation how could i forget that so i did see some reviews stating that um basically it comes off a little oily I didn't want to get my true shade because I don't want to look like a grease ball honestly yeah I'll probably eventually get it just to try it out for myself but I really just wanted something for contouring so that's why I got the shade that I did see Zamba or something like that I'll go ahead and link that down below um, but overall I think it did a pretty good job as far as contouring um, and yeah i don't have anything bad to say about that i think it retails for about 15 or 17 dollars somewhere around there um i think it's 17 or 18 dollars don't quote me um but all the products that i did try out today i would definitely recommend at least trying out one of the volumes of the norvina palette i didn't buy the other two because i have tons of eyeshadow palettes so i really don't need it um, but her palettes are usually pretty good, so why not? 
Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial and my makeup review. If you guys have not subscribed yet, you need to go ahead and click that link down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, slrbeauty underscore, and Shauna326. Bye, guys.